Some companies need to create statements for their customers. A statement is an accumulation of all of the open invoices that have been created for that customer. To create statements, there are two options. If you go to your customers list, you can pick the customer that you would like to create a statement for by clicking the arrow out to the right of their name and choosing Create Statement. This form will appear and you will only be creating a statement for one customer. But perhaps you would like to create statements for several customers at once. Under the plus new, choose Statement. Here are all the statement, all the customers that have outstanding balances and their email addresses. Here, if you choose not to send a statement to someone, you can simply uncheck their name. If you want to create statements for everyone, then keep their names checkmarked. You have different options in how the statements will look. This one is a balance forward, meaning what's the balance forward by the statement date of December 14th. You can also choose open items. This would show all of the open items that are on their invoice. So let's see what that looks like. If I choose print preview, so here is how it looks when I choose that option. It actually shows the invoice and the amount that was originally and the amount that is still open. And at the bottom it shows how long the amount has been open. Here's the next one. So we can see with this customer, their invoice has been open for 31 to 60 days and is past due. So when you choose that option, the option of open item, it shows the invoice details. That is my favorite. Let's take a look at balance forward. Balance Forward says Balance Forward and includes the invoices and the payments that have been received. You may like that one the best. And let's look at Transaction Statement. And here is the Transaction Statement. It does not have at the bottom how long the invoice has been outstanding. You may prefer that one. So if you're going to create statements, be sure to pick the statement type that you prefer. You can change the statement date. Perhaps you want the statement date to be the last day of the month or the first day of the month. And you can apply that and that would make the statement look different because if they've had any transactions past this date, those would not show up on the statement. That is how we create statements in QuickBooks. We can save and send, or save and close, or print them all and then save and close. One thing you do need to know about the statements is there is no click and pay link on the statements. So if you're using Intuit Merchant Services, and you know how with Intuit Merchant Services, if you send an invoice, there's a click and pay link. There is no click and pay link on the statements at this time. We're hopeful that Intuit will incorporate that feature soon. So that is creating statements in QuickBooks.